I just think this is bad for the country. The, the, the die's been cast now. You can never undo this. Hmm. And I think people all across the country, Republicans, are going to remember that Colorado, then Maine, maybe there could be others. You tried to take probably our nominee off the ballot. I think they're going to be very mad not at it for a long time. Though. Well, it should be both. Not, not it should be both parties. I agree with that, Mark. Yeah, it is. Yep. It is, though. It is. Yes, right. I agree. And, Doug, give, give me your say on this. <laughs> well, I think, you know, look, Mark's right. I mean, this is just another, uh, you know, rapid case of they can't stand Trump. The derangement is real. Uh, a couple of things that I want to point out, though, that Bella's is not an attorney, and this is a well-written, very poorly understood uh, decision. In fact, it's wrong completely to its core. So my question is, I would like for the for the main uh, legislator to look into the attorneys that actually helped draft this. I mean, this is a, I mean, to be this wrong uh, uh, legally, it should be something that should be said as well, because I don't think she did this to get a purpose and her point across, but she had help doing it. And that should be a concern to all the people of Maine. The other part here is, is think about this in a bigger picture. I like to throw this out there. At the end of the day, one of the big controversies of 2020 election was the electors coming from these states. Mark brought this out just a second ago. If you have states, if this is not, he made the, Mark said, what happens if they don't fix it? Supreme Court doesn't fix it, which I think they will. Then those electors would come to the U.S. House of Representatives and to the Senate, and the question would be, you know, they're the ones that determine did the states actually go through this. This is an interesting point. If you had states actually take unilateral action against a candidate or a party, what would happen when those electors then came to the U.S. House? Yeah, excellent point. And before we go, I want to bring you back on this, Mark, because you were making an excellent point there that this isn't just Republicans who are up in arms about this. This is also Democrats, independents, Americans in general. So I want you to just finish your thought on that, but then also end with what you think the Supreme Court's going to do. Will it be unanimous? But Gavin Newsom, who's a partisan Democrat after the original decision in Colorado, basically said, no, 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 no. That's a paraphrase. Horrible <laughs> idea. And, and I'm, hearing, I'm hearing it from Democrats everywhere. Even if Donald Trump yep. had been convicted, even if he'd been convicted, I'm not sure the American people would support this. Let the voters decide. Every, as I say, every lawyer I know, every Supreme Court, former clerk, court watcher say it'll be struck down, maybe even unanimous. But I think they'll strive for unanimity in, in the upcoming decisions, including this one. But it still, as was said before, it will still leave such a stain, such an outrage. And, and I, I can almost guarantee you that this is a net benefit for Donald Trump, maybe even a large one, because of how outraged people are by this and how misguided and how, how inconsistent with American traditions these two decisions are. Big time. Doug, final thoughts. Agreed. Yeah, no, I think you're exactly right. This is just a stain on the election system. And remember, it's always the Democrats saying Republicans are at odds with democracy. They're the ones taking people off the ballot.